Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I'm back with another thrift haul. I've got some great pieces to show you of some items that we are picking up for spring and summer. That's why we are trying to stay ahead of season. Even though it is cold out, we are starting to move into warmer weather and we are starting to notice a big shift in seasonality. All of my buyers are buying spring and summer items. Let me know down below what yours are buying, um, but we are making a dramatic change in our sourcing habits in order to accommodate that. Not to say we won't still pick up some wintery items if they are still performing well, if the sell-through rate's there, or if the average sale price is very, very high. Of course, we will still pick up those items and I actually have a couple pieces like that to show you today. Before we dive into today's thrift haul, I wanted to take a moment to talk about one of my favorite ways to save money and and treat yourself. And that is through Dossier. If you guys are not familiar with Dossier, they are an online fragrance company. They take inspiration from luxury perfumes and colognes, and they recreate those scents, but at a much more affordable cost to you. I mean, have you guys ever purchased in store like higher end perfumes? Like they are so expensive. Not the case with Dossier. And oftentimes I can actually purchase multiple fragrances um, and still be under that price point of just buying one luxury fragrance. So I really love that. This month I tried Floral Rhubarb, which is a new favorite of mine, a newer scent I hadn't seen on their website before. Um, and top notes are rhubarb, which I don't like rhubarb. Let me know down below if you guys like rhubarb pie and stuff like that. I don't like rhubarb, but apparently I like it in scents because it smells really good. Rhubarb, orange blossom, and peach. Um, very bright scent, perfect for spring and summer. Uh, this one is inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect, which... I think this is a perfect scent. I love it. And I also got Fruity Magnolia, which if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I repurchased this one like pretty often. Um, this is inspired by Versace Bright Crystal, which is one of my favorite fragrances. Um, and so being able to buy it half the price and still get the same scent is awesome. A uh, top note in this, it's very fresh, sweet smelling. It is pomegranate and yuzu. So one of my all time repurchase favorites. If you guys would like to check out Dossier for yourself, the link to that will be down below. And you can also use my coupon code Kaylee10 at checkout for a discount off of your first purchase. Let me know what you guys end up trying. All right, so we are gonna dive right in. I have a ton of stuff to show you guys and I'm gonna go pretty quickly rapid fire because there is so much, um, but I wanted to show you guys kind of the bolos and some of the styles and factors that we're looking for that are selling well for us. So Eileen Fisher, she's my girl like all year round, um, but switching to spring and summer, I try to focus on lightweight materials. With Island Fisher, it's all about the materials for the buyers. Um, so we try to focus on things like linens and or silks. This one is, I believe, a silk blend. I'm not gonna take it off the hanger, but I'm pretty sure it's a silk blend pant. Um, this is not plus size. Plus sizes are definitely a bolo, but it is a larger size in a 14 petite. Um, I would guess that this would sell for around 30 to 35. This next one is a newer brand that I'm not familiar with. Nikki got this in wholesale, Eva Franco, size 2X women's pants. I'm guessing these are going to sell for about 30 to 35, just based off of feel and quality. Pair of houndstooth pull-on pants. Um, pink is a very popular color still right now. I think um, inspired from like the Barbiecore movie. I do think Barbiecore is like trending down as far as... Um, like aesthetic goes, but pink seems to have a resurgence because of that. So um, I think these will do well. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that brand. I need to look that up. Um, Cause like I said, I'm not the one who sourced it on wholesale, um, but I know we wouldn't have gotten it unless it was a good flip. Um, I get a lot of free people from one of my wholesalers who has um, a connection to buying free people, which is awesome. So we've been getting some um, modern pieces, which I love. And a lot of them have been new with tags or new without tags. So I'm like, I'm in love <laughs> with some of these wholesale purchases. So this is a gorgeous skirt. I'm lucky this is not my size. This is a size six um, midi to maxi length satin skirt. Gorgeous finish on this. Absolutely stunning color. Um, I'd have to do the research on the style name on that, but I'm guessing about 40 and up. This was something I sourced for myself not for myself, <laughs> source myself in my area recently. It is a pair of Spanx pants. If you guys find Spanx, not just Spanx leggings or anything like that, they have to be like a pant style that you would like wear to the office. That's what's really trending right now. Um, the, the, uh, 
these are a size large i'm tongue-tied these are a size large and i actually found them new with tags which is an incredible find they retailed for 128 dollars they're called the perfect pant in the jogger style and they make like straight leg there might even be boot cut but the if you see anything that says perfect pant that's the style that has like an incredible sell through rate right now um so jogger style which is also very trendy larger size new with tags this is probably going to go for a lot i would guess at least 75 dollars on those this one is a vintage y2k pickup just a popular aesthetic uh size medium men's gap pants these just have the it factor for me. They are cargo, um, you know, Gorp core is really trendy right now. They're very unique. They have the, uh, the cord at the bottom to cinch in and all the details are like this contrast yellow. Very cool piece. Very, very cool piece. I'm probably going to price it up because of that, maybe 35 to 40 on that, but very trendy item right now. Um, and cargo pants, by the way, in general, because of the Gorp core and like the streetwear trend, um, it increases a lot of value if you've got cargo pants. So maybe look it up in some brands that you don't normally pick up and you might be surprised. This is another Bola for St. John in the Santana knit, which is this material, which is their, um, their fabric that they're known for. These are a pair of size 14 wide leg crop pants and their Santana knit. So all those factors, large size, their core fabric that's popular, wide leg and crop, like these are gonna do well. Um, I don't know specifically pricing on that, but I would say $50 plus. Um, I grabbed a lot of these. I'm only gonna show you one. There's a total of, I think maybe five. Found these all next to each other on the rack. It appeared somebody had donated their men's Lululemon long sleeve collection. Um, and they do feel like a pretty uh, newer style as well. I don't know what this is called. Maybe we'll do a Google lens, but I'm guessing about 25 to 30 on each of those. I can't get a ton for them anymore unless they're specific style. Um, but you know, five bucks into 25, very trendy. And like I said, I found five of those. Next up is the brand Athleta. This is a brand that I'm very picky with these days. I used to be able to pick it up in everything. Not the case anymore. Um, I try to stick to the more substantial pieces or the newer styles. And it's pretty easy to tell what is newer because you can flip this little tag here and you see how it says season fall 2022. So I know that this was made within the last couple of years, uh, which is a really good sign. And then from there, I will look up the style number. And then from there, I will comp that style with the size that I have and things like that. I can't remember what this was called. I want to say it was like the Purana wrap or something to that effect. But cardigans with this silhouette in Athleta, um, I have always had good luck selling. And with this being a newer style, I think it'll do well. Um, if I remember correctly, I think that was going to sell for like 35 to 40 this is another popular brand to be on the lookout for. They are known for their silks. It is Lanya. They make like pajamas, but they also make like regular tops and stuff too. Um, I'm not sure which one this is. I think it could go either way. It's an oversized, it's, only, it's a size medium, but you can see how big it is. Oversized kind of pocket tee, gorgeous red color. If I remember correctly, they are known for their washable silks, um, which might be why they are so popular, but very popular brand right now. I would say probably 35 to 40 on that. Um, this kind of fits into one of my core clients, which I would say is like someone who's more mature. They want like uh, something lightweight, something to travel in, um, just easy, like going, but kind of artsy client <laughs> and i feel like we have a lot of those because we sell a lot of these products so i feel pretty comfortable buying brands like this um this is pure jill which is a j jill line this is their linen line i don't normally buy j jill unless they are plus sizes because the sell through rate is not good otherwise but i make some exceptions in spring and summer when it comes to linen pieces i feel like this one's very on trend it's like a sheer uh linen kind of popover tunic top very, very trendy. I would guess probably 30 to 35 on that. This also 
uh, falls under that clientele. It is Icy by Connie K. Um, cell 3 is not 100% on this brand, although it might actually be in a size extra large, which is what I have here. Um, but it is a pretty decent sell through rate and the stuff is selling very consistently for like 35, 40, sometimes 50, depending on what you have. This is a gauzy tunic length top, very beautiful blue color, again, in a size extra large. I'm probably going to list this for around $40. I feel like that's a brand a lot of people don't know about. You guys, I loved finding this piece. I almost never find Johnny Was in Ohio, and I found a Johnny Was in a size extra large, which is really great, in a desirable style, like win, win, win all the way around. I couldn't believe it. And there's no holes, which is crazy. So Johnny Was size extra large. I'm going to have to do a lens to figure out the exact style of this, but I already can tell it is a very desirable style. Um, and I feel like Johnny Was, you have to look up the style because some stuff sells for like only 30 bucks pre-owned and then some stuff sells for over a hundred dollars so you got to figure out you know what's the what's the range for you but i would guess that this is a more substantial piece it's all over embroidered it is a Coop, cooper rayon is that how you say it top so it's kind of like a silky ish fabric and it's a larger size so i'm gonna guess um, at least 50 for that if not closer to 100 but i'll have to report back with you guys hopefully you'll see it in a what sold video that's another men's lulu top so i'll leave that um, along the same lines, this is a brand that performs well in linens during spring and summer, Matchpoint USA. This one is a size extra large linen tunic top. You, you can see the same clientele, um, very easy going, some oversized, loose fitting, high quality materials in linen, button down top. Um, I would guess probably 30 to 35 on that. It's another Lulu top. Uh, this was a style-based pickup. We actually um, have been talking in the Reseller's Edge group. So, like, I don't know how much you guys know about it, but I try not to shove it in your face too much. But I do like talking about it because we have some great stuff going on in there. Um, and the people that are in the group are seeing some great, like, great results, great progress. So, um, Bethany and Sean, which is who we run the group with, um, they have a ton of experience selling specifically vintage and style based pieces, and they were also top sellers on Depop. So they have a ton of knowledge, um, about, you know, aesthetics and all those like trending cores and where to go to look for those things and figure out what's trending. Um, and they recently just did a deep dive call. Um, I think it was last week with everyone in the group where they said, hey, here are some categories and some bolos and vintage that you guys can look for um, separate from, you know, the ones we all know, like the the single stitch band tees and things like that. So this um, fell into that category, which are midi length, like silky little vintage dresses that look like this. I have been selling these for a long time now. I know I've mentioned it over the years, um, but tends to be a very good category to look for that a lot of resellers pass over. Um, brand doesn't really matter all that much. This is Nine West in a size two. This one is 100% silk, although I have seen ones that aren't silk with just this aesthetic also perform well. But this one is so stunning. All the details on it like gives me very Revolve vibes stunning piece. Um, I'm probably going to list this. I normally list stuff like this for like 35 to 40 bucks. Might list this one a little bit higher just because I think it's got, I think it's got an edge. I think it looks like a revolve piece. So I might list it closer to 50. We'll see. All right, next up, another um, piece for that clientele I was talking about, Eileen Fisher. I try to stick to plus sizes in Eileen Fisher as well. However, Eileen Fisher is all about the material. And so if I find like a really good piece and a good material and it's slightly under a plus size, I'll consider getting it. So this is an extra large, not quite plus size, but close. Um, and this is a organic cotton linen blend sweater. And a lot of people don't go to the sweater section um, when they're buying spring and summer, but this is a category you guys can still pick up are the beachy sweaters. Nothing with wool or cashmere in it. Um, for like a beachy sweater, but all these like open knit, kind of lightweight, people still buy these in the dead of summer. So keywords like beachy summer, things like that. Um, I would guess this is, is going to probably sell for around 40 to 
All right, this one is strictly a style-based pickup. I don't know anything about this brand, and when I tried to look it up, I couldn't find much information. Uh, but it seemed like a high-quality piece. Go Fish had a lot of factors, and I couldn't say no because I think it's gorgeous. Size extra large, so larger size. Oversized, kind of login-looky, very on-trend top. I mean, look at the color combo on this. It is such a stunning print. Little peplum detail, flared sleeve. Could not say no to this piece. I'm probably only going to list it for like 25 to 30, but I thought it was really beautiful, so I grabbed it. Um, this next one is from a wholesaler, Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. This line has really taken a dive for me. <laughs> like, I used to be able to pick up anything in the Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren line, not so much anymore, but the men's graphic pieces still seem to do well. This is a men's graphic hoodie. Um, I don't know the comp on this. I would guess 30 to 35. It's definitely not doing as well as it used to, but the men's graphic stuff seems to still perform well. All right, this is one I picked up in my area. This is a Harley Davidson men's flannel, which surprisingly still had a great sell through rate, um, probably because this is a size 2XL. So that probably helped to up the sell through rate also. I'm probably gonna list this for about 30 to $35. Um, but really cool piece, has the spell out on the back. So yeah, don't be afraid to look something up just because it's like out of season. But I would recommend that there's still evidence there that it's going to sell. You know, you don't want to sit on it for a year. All right, you guys, this is an absolute bolo. I don't think I've ever found a piece on this brand that hasn't sold for a lot or super quickly. It is Norma Kamali. And almost all of her pieces are like all black. So I feel like resellers skip it a lot. Um, and she makes like, I don't know. I used to say like travel pieces, like cause she had like workwear pants. I think they were called the elephant pants and like almost everything was black kind of capsule wardrobe, like mix and match. But now they're making pieces like this where there's like cut out details. I think this is called a cat suit, little cut out jumpsuit. I mean, there's cutouts all over this thing. Crazy good sell through rate. Had no idea. Um, I was lucky enough to find this new with tags. It is called the Long Sleep Crew Neck Alligator Catsuit. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, great sell through rate. And I believe this was going to sell for like $125 or something crazy like that. Um, but really, really great comps on that. And like I said, I'm not really found a Norma Kamali piece that hasn't performed well. All right, we were talking about sweaters earlier and trying to avoid like wools and cashmeres, but I do think that there are sometimes exceptions to that rule if you've got a high quality piece. This one is a designer brand, Tyler Bow. I wouldn't recommend picking up everything in this brand, um, but 100% cashmere, gorgeous, periwinkle color, ruffle, cardigan. Could not say no to this. Probably going to list this for like, mm, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 bucks. Um, but I might have to sit on it just because again, we're going into warmer weather. All right. We've been having some good luck with some maternity brands. This is one that performs consistently well for me. It is Latched Mama. It never goes for like a ton, um, but it does sell well. This is a women's size large, um, midi length dress. Again, maternity or like nursing brand. And this, I believe we should be able to sell for like around 30 bucks. This is just a Patagonia graphic tee, unless this is a rare graphic print, which it, it might be, because honestly, this doesn't even look like Patagonia to me. Um, it's probably going to sell for about 25 bucks, but the Patagonia graphic tees can do well. If it's a more rare print, it might go for more. This is a good brand to look for. It is Alambica, again, with that like clientele I was talking about, kind of artsy vibes. Um, some of the Alambica stuff goes for crazy amounts of money, like crazy. I think I just sold a pair of like denim pants by them, like chambray denim for like 50 bucks pre-owned. Like, and I know we've sold stuff for over $100 by them. So crazy good brand, depending on what you get. This is a velvet tunic sweater which in these artsy brands, Velvet adds a lot of value. Now Velvet's starting to go out of season, so we'll have to check, but I would guess about 40 to $50 on that. All right, this is one I picked up in my area. This is a vintage energy size large women's Y2K tank top. Might even be 90s, um, but really great comps on this. Surprisingly good sell through rate, um, specifically in this brand. And I found it new with tags dead stock, which 
just look just look at these tags like does that not scream y2k to you so because this is dead stock i'm probably going to list this much higher um just because it is a more rare piece probably at like 40 ish dollars if this were pre-owned i'd probably just list it for around 25 to 30 but it's pretty rare to find stuff like that new with tags still Here's another kind of beachy sweater. This is Talbots. I try to only pick up Talbots in plus sizes. This is a 3X. It is a tie-dye cotton sweater. So again, not wool, not cashmere. Um, so still could be considered a beachy sweater. Yeah, cotton rayon. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I bet this will sell really quickly with the size and the colorway. Um, I would guess that that's probably gonna go for around 30 to 35. I apparently dropped this piece. <laughs> this is an anthropology larger size, which if free people in anthropology, if you have size large and up, sell really well for me. This is a size 14. Um, it has a little spot in the front, so we'll have to keep that in mind, but it's a little bubble dress. Very gorgeous pink color, which is really trendy right now. Um, I have no idea on this honestly because i don't know the exact style name but i would guess probably 30 to 35. lily pulitzer pretty much anything right now is selling really well i don't know the style to this either but it's fish print multicolor, very classic dress that people are are buying right now this could go anywhere from like 25 all the way to 65 i would say depending on that style name this is another talbot's plus size 3x um new with tags midi length dress talbot's plus size dresses do really really well and this is a very uh gorgeous like really on trend kind of boho piece so i think that this will perform extremely well i'll probably be able to price this up a little bit um, i would guess probably around 40 to maybe 50 for that this is another kind of newer to me plus size brand, City Chic. You can see it says large, but it translates to a size 20. We've been selling a lot of their dresses. They don't go for a ton, um, but they do sell pretty well. So I think now we're experimenting with their tops. Really pretty on trend top. Um, I would guess probably only 25 for this, but again, a very trendy piece. This is another Talbot's plus size dress midi length polka dot full button which adds a lot of value a uh, little tie dress i would guess probably 35 on that disney plus size pieces um, depending on what they are tend to perform well this is a size 1x disney women's sweater with the little lady and the tramp this is so cute um, I didn't do a comp on this, so I don't know if it's rare. It might be. It might very well be. Um, but I'm guessing around 30 to 35 on this. And then one of my wholesalers, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, uh, since it's a lot of free people. So I've got a lot of free people pieces coming up. Um, Intimately Free People, this is a gorgeous satiny like slip dress. Um, I've been doing some Google Trends research and I'm sharing that with the group, but uh, satin like slip dresses are trending up right now. Um, and so is the color pink. So this should be a really great piece. I don't know the exact comps because I don't know the exact style, but I would guess around probably 35. Here's a free people top um, new without tags. This one's a size large, so larger size. Gorgeous little baby doll kind of crappy peasant tee top. Again, don't know the style name, but I would guess probably 35-ish for that. This one is a brand we hardly get ever anymore. It is Lucky Brand, um, but sometimes we'll pick it up in plus size pieces. Even still, the plus size pieces, sell through rate's really been trending down, so I'm trying to keep an eye on it. But this is a size 2X, very nautical, um, tunic length top, very gauzy. I'm trying to see what this is made out of. It might be a linen blend. Yeah, it is a linen blend. So that should increase some value there. I still only think we're gonna get 25 for it, um, but still a, a great on-trend piece. This is a great brand to look for in dresses right now. I saw this trending up in search as well. It is Bowdoin. This one's a size six. The multicolor stuff or the larger size in Bowdoin definitely perform better, but this is a midi length, beautiful green color ruched faux wrap dress um i guess 35 to 40.
Here's another kind of good bread and butter dress brand to look for. It is J. Crew, specifically in longer lengths. This is a size 14, so larger size, maxi length kind of eye cat print dress. I would guess around 30 for this one. Here is a Free People um, Nuba Tags. Gorgeous, so stunning. Beautiful blue dress, kind of like that slip look, but also kind of like cottagecore prairie. I don't know. I feel like this could be a lot of aesthetics. Tiered maxi dress. This thing is so beautiful in person, guys. I don't know the style name of this, but I'm guessing this one is going to go for quite a bit just based on the style. This is a brand that's good to look for in linens. It is Poetry. Um, again, going with that clientele. Uh, this is a linen blazer. I would guess this would sell for about 30 to 35. I don't know this brand, so I don't want to tell you it's good. So I'm sliding it over here. Nikki got that in wholesale, so I don't feel confident enough to share that one with you guys quite yet. Um, but I will have to research that and let you guys know. Um, this is another free people top. Again, size large is going to perform a lot better. Or I guess maybe it might be a mini dress. You never know with free people, but really gorgeous, kind of cottagey looking boho embroidered apron looking dress or tunic top. Depending on style, I would guess that's probably going to go for around 30. And last piece, this is a winter-ish item, but still has a phenomenal 100% sell-through rate, at least when I checked it a few days ago. And the comps were doing really well. I think I'm going to list this between 50 and 60 bucks. This is Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Plus Size, kind of like a cream-colored cardigan. Um, I've sold a ton of Barefoot Dreams plus size cardigans on whatnot, and people go crazy over them. Um, so that's kind of what led me to start um, looking for them more, because previously I felt like I would never find them, and now I find them all the time. Um, but the plus sizes in this brand are performing well still. Um, and if you sell on whatnot, which by the way, um, we are starting to be more consistent on whatnot, so go bookmark those shows, because we have a lot of great stuff coming up that you can either purchase to flip or for yourself. Either way, I think you're going to get some good deals. Um, info to that is in my link tree down below. Um, but yeah, this performs really well on every platform. And I feel like whatever performs well on any platform performs well on all platforms. Like what's desirable and trendy is what's trendy everywhere. So just keep that in mind. But this is definitely um, a bolo plus size barefoot dreams. Okay, guys, that is the end of today's thrift haul. I'm starting to lose my voice, so I'm going to get off of here, but hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Information to Dossier will be linked down below as well as that coupon code if you are interested in checking it out. Otherwise, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And yeah, let me know what you guys are buying down below. Have your customers switch to spring and summer? Mine have like a month ago. Um, and then who is your, like one of your main clients? I don't feel like I have one specific buyer because we sell a lot of different things. Um, but I know for sure that one of our core clients is that like more mature log and looky kind of person. So let me know down in the comments below. I'm curious as to what your clients are. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.